Hi, welcome to my system here. We are working on a Linux Mint system. Let's ask a quick NeoFetch so you know all the information you see here. So it's the latest kernel, ZSH, cinnamon, water, special R dark smoke, so the, all the gray accents here. And we have Sardimono Vertex. We're going to change that. We're going to make a new icon theme and show you the modularity of Sardi. We're going to make the uh, Sardi Vertex. So these icons from the applications are now mono and we want them to be colored. We go to our folder, our hidden folder icons, and we delete everything. Why? Because I want to be sure to work on the latest version of Sardi. I have this little script, it does the same what you do. You go to SourceForge 9.1-1, it's going to download it, it's star GZ, it's going to unpack it and put it here in icons. That's what, that's what you do manually and that's what the script does. So now we have this Sardi mono vertex. What I want to do is make a Sardi vertex. So I'm gonna do my phase one. Phase one is Control C, Control V. Rename this folder. You might have want to have a look inside of it. You will see that the Sardi vertex has only one folder places. So that's all of it, and, and all the rest is coming from Sardi, or in that case Sardi mono. But we're gonna change this. We're gonna change that it goes from Sardi, and we're gonna do it like so. The inherits line is the one going to tell if there are no icons in here in this folder well then you should find them here that's what we are saying that's phase two and phase three is we want to have a new icon team cache we just double click this we have our self a new icon team cache, uh, cache and then we're going to select with a team manager on your distro to have a sardi vertex rather than Sardi Mono Vertex and this is now the look we're working with and uh, well done we have created Sardi Vertex and that's how modularity works.